Hello and welcome. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks in dealing with uh, advanced symbology for better cartographic and graphic design of your maps and posters. You can see here I have loaded in uh, my population per square mile, and right now it's not symbolized at all. You can double click to bring out my pop properties and um, go to your symbology tab, and currently it's a single symbol. Now, dealing with census data were quantities. In this case, I've already done my normalization and I just want to look at my pot per square mile. And you can see that immediately a couple of things happen. One is uh, it does a natural breaks, which is fine for me in this case. Um, but I want to see if I hit apply, you can see that it, it doesn't really show me a lot of variation because there's a lot of um, large groupings of numbers here. So I'm going to up my classes. I want to go all the way to the max and hit apply. And you start seeing, particularly around the periphery of uh, the Madison here, you start seeing some subtle pockets then of development where there's population density. And so in my case, I feel that's important just because of how my data is laid out. Secondly, I go into classify here. Uh, you notice that zero is in that first classification. And I want to pull out those that have no population. So what I can do is I can insert a break and then that break I can just drag all the way to the left and it'll kind of snap to zero if I go past that left hand threshold and that's okay. So I'm going to do that, hit okay. And now you can see I have a zero. So I could customize things here where I have zero as something separate from those that actually have population. Now, um, ArcGIS has some great color ramps. Um, issue though is they don't always match up with your color of your boards or your presentations or how you're um, kind of composing all of your other documents. And so how do you get your own custom colors? Well, if it matches one that, that's already there, that's great, you can just pick it. Um, but if not, and you just simply click on the first one, double click on the first one, go and change your color. Now you could choose from here, go to more colors. Um, maybe I want this one uh, a lot lighter. So I'm going to drag that over to like 99 and, you know, change the saturation a bit and click OK. So you can see it's a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to go all the way to the end, double click on this and say I want this one a little bit darker. So again, I'm going to go to more colors. And I'm going to drag this out. You can see that it's much darker now. Uh, maybe I'm going to knock the saturation out a bit. And I'm going to click OK and OK. So you can see I have my end color and beginning color set. Now, all I have to simply do is come into that, right click, and then say Ramp Colors. And it ramps the colors for me. Now, a couple other changes here. You can right click and format labels. So my labels. Uh, in this case, I can knock down to the number of decimal places to show. I can show my thousand separator and click OK and I can click apply. And so hitting OK to get out of that box, you can now see I have all my colors set. My labels are nice and clean. And this is something that's a, a lot more presentable that can be customized to your color palette for your posters or presentations or uh, reports. So with that, that's customized color ramps. Thanks.